Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here with Daniel Skeldam of Hurta Gruta, uh, which you know is the Norwegian Expedition Cruise Line. And we were on with Daniel early last year for his brand new ship. We're going to ask him about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Daniel, first of all, that was a marvelous time up in uh, Vancouver. It was about a few months ago. Uh, how is the Roald Amundsen doing uh, now that it's really in the market? It is doing great, James. It's it's. Uh, the uh, best performing ship we have. I had the pleasure myself of being on board the ship during the naming ceremony in Antarctica in November. Uh, I was working in the expedition team. I got to spend time with the guests and it's really performing way past our expe expectations. Uh, both on emissions, which is far lower than which expected. The, you're the first hybrid electric. Right? It is the first uh, battery hybrid powered cruise ship in the world. It takes down emissions significantly and it, she performs better than we expected. Yeah. But also from a guest point of view. The guests are thrilled about the standards on board. Uh, they say to us that this is a luxury ship. Well, that's why I did have a challenge with that because you never marketed it as a, that, but the, the, the furnishings and the, the spa, the dining, uh, it really clearly reflects a luxury or experiential product. I have to agree with you. It's very, very close well, to luxury. you should agree with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guests say the same. They really, really are appreciative of the yeah. standards on board, which is a, which is a massive, yeah. massive lift from what Hutton used to be known for, for 10, 15 years ago. Right. And now we're also refurbishing the rest of the fleet to be the same kind of standards. Are you going to put in the same restaurants and things? Oh or? yeah, the yeah. same restaurants, the same great food concepts, uh, the same materials, uh, look and feel in the cabins and in the in the public areas. So we are uh, refurbishing three of our older ships to the same standards that's going to sail expedition sailings on the Norwegian coast uh, based on the expe uh, experiences that we've had on the Royal Amundsen over the last months. Now, where is the Royal Amundsen right now? Uh, right now she's in Antarctica. Uh, and she's going to spend uh, another couple of months in Antarctica before sailing up the, the west coast of South America, continue up to Vancouver uh, and start sailing Alaska sailings the entire summer of 2020. Wow, and now you have another ship coming up. It, I believe it's sort of the twin of the Amundsen, right? It's the twin of Amundsen. It's the Fleet of Nansen. Uh, another name that we're going to have challenges with, but that's oh, another yeah. one. Oh, uh, Fleet of Nansen uh, was a great Norwegian explorer okay. uh, and scientist, and we're honored to be able to name these two great ships after Roald Amundsen and Fleet of Nansen. So um, we took delivery of her early, uh, right before Christmas. Uh, so she's now getting ready to take the first guests, which will happen first of March. Uh, and then we start sailing expedition sailings on the Norwegian coast. We'll sail her on Greenland from Iceland uh, and Greenland is a beautiful beautiful place uh, to experience short distance from North America and then we're gonna sail her down to Antarctica for the 2020 21 season. Well I do think one of the alternatives you described uh, up nor in the north of Norway in Greenland they sound absolutely amazing. The yeah, so these ships are purpose-built based on our experience from sailing on the Norwegian coast for 126 years. Uh, they have a size which enables them to go into every little hamlet, every little town, every little community on Greenland or the Norwegian coast or in every little bay in Antarctica. So the size is, is uh, purposefully built for that. Uh, the draft of the ship is it, it covers or, or is able to sail into shallow areas. So it's just a ship which is purpose-built to create great experiences for the guests. Now, we got the new ship, what's next after that? Oh, I think we do have to build more ships. Uh, and of course, an ambition we have is to, first of all, take advantage of all the technology out there to build even more uh, sustainable ships. What's the, what kind of sustainable, after the hybrid electric and that, what, what, could, what could you do? Uh, the battery technology is moving really, really fast, right. but of course our ambition is to sail emission free for the entire duration of the voyages. And the one really cool thing we're doing now is we are starting to use biogas on a lot of the ships on the Norwegian coast. That is a circular economy. Uh, we use waste from the fish farming industry. Uh, that is creating fuel for our ships, but also fertilizer for the agriculture industry. Okay. So, so that's making it a perfect circular economy. 
Anything else you want to tell our travel advisors out there about what's going on with the company today? Uh, I think uh, there are two major, major trends to follow for the travel advisors. Uh, food is big. Uh, healthy food is big. Uh, we were the first cruise line to have vegan menus uh, on board our ships. Uh, you I, can I heard you saying the other at our panel we were just on that you were doing a little of that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I try to I try to follow that myself. Okay. So uh, and I love eating that kind of food. So so and that's a big trend in the world that people want to eat more healthy. They want to eat well, but they also want to eat uh, healthy. Uh, so that's a big trend. And of course, sustainability. People want to feel well about the cruise line they choose to travel with. And it's a lot of greenwashing out there. So my advice to the travel advisors is to see through that and, and, and choose the right kind of cruise line for the guests, because the guests will appreciate it so much when they get back from the trip. Well, Daniel, it's great to see you again uh, since we saw each other up in Vancouver. And uh, sounds like uh, your company is moving right along on its plan to be more sustainable and, and more fuel efficient and deliver experiences uh, to guests that really nobody else can. Uh, again, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us about the Hertha Gruten and great to see you again. Thank you. It's great seeing you again too and hopefully see you on board on one of the ships again soon. Absolutely. I'll make, make a date. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>